Hi, David Rage from Pender United Methodist Church. One of the best things about Pender are the people inside it, from the staff members to the parish. And today, no different, I uh, got on the bikes with my own children. We rode into Greenbrier neighborhood, met Karen Cross on her front porch. And while practicing good social distancing, she uh, read to us an Easter story, which I've recorded. And I, well, I'd like you to share it with your kids too. Thank you. We're good. One of my favorite books for Easter is The Easter Story. And it's favorite for me because it's real. It really happened. We can find it in the Bible, in God's Word. But this book has pictures in it, and I hope you can see. When we celebrate Easter, we remember that God gave us his son, Jesus Christ, to be our Savior. Jesus made sick people well, and he even made the dead alive again. Jesus chose 12 men to be his disciples. He told them that God loves them so much that he sent Jesus to die for us. But some people didn't want to hear about God. They didn't want to listen to Jesus. He looks pretty angry, doesn't he? But there was a day that was very happy. It was called Palm Sunday. And all the people who loved Jesus were so excited because it was like a parade. You see, they have palm branches that were taken from the palm trees. They fell on the ground. They picked them up and they waved them saying, Hosanna, Hosanna to our king. Hosanna was a word that means he saves. It's like a cheering word. Yay, Jesus. And they all came to Jerusalem, to the city of Jerusalem, and here's Jesus riding on a donkey. They even felt Jesus was so special, they put palm branches down on the ground so the donkey who was carrying Jesus could walk on them. Later that week, Jesus and his di disciples ate together the Passover meal that they celebrate every year. And while they were eating, before they ate, Look what Jesus is doing. He's doing something very unusual, something that servants would do. If you went to somebody's house, you had sandals on and your feet were dirty, so they always had the slaves or the servants come and wash your feet. But Jesus said, I'm a servant. I'm serving you, and I want you to serve others. So I'm showing you an example of what service means. It's doing things that you normally wouldn't do. Later that night, after supper, they went to a garden to pray. But the men who didn't like Jesus sent soldiers to arrest him. Jesus was sent to die. His disciples were very sad. But Jesus had told them that this would happen, that he would die. But after three days, he would arise. He would be alive again. It's hard for them to believe because, see, he was carrying a cross. And they knew what happened to criminals, bad people. They got nailed to a cross. So it was hard to remember that Jesus said he was going to come alive again. Well, three days later, the, some women came to the tomb. And they had something very special. They had flowers that smelled very nice. They had perfume and incense that they were going to put in the tomb. The tomb in those days, they had a lot of caves in Israel. And so they buried the dead bodies in caves, and they put a big rock, this rock right here, they put right over the opening. When the ladies got there, they said, it's open. The cave is open. The tomb is open. Where's Jesus? Now, from the previous pictures in this book, you might think that one of these people is Jesus, because the artist didn't have the creativity you have to make angels. These are really two messengers from God that came to tell everybody who came, Jesus isn't here because he's alive. Later that night, Jesus' disciples were in a room that was locked. You see, those, those 11 men were really scared because everybody knew that they were Jesus' friends and they, would, they could come after them and arrest them and kill them too. But suddenly, 
in that locked room, who appeared? You're right, it was Jesus. He appeared to them and showed them his hands that had little marks where the nails had gone in, his hands. Jesus said, go and tell everyone that if a person believes in me, they will be saved and they will live forever. This is the Easter story that Jesus is alive today. And because he died for us, for the wrong things that we've done, we, if we believe in him, will live again too in heaven where Jesus is now. That's the story, the Easter story. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate that, Miss Cross. Thank you so much. Let's see.